This didactic material is meant for the personal use of the student only and is copyrighted. Its reproduction, even for a partial utilization, is strictly forbidden in compliance with and in force of the law on the author's rights. Welcome to this lesson on cash flow analysis for project financing initiatives. This is a very important lesson because this lesson aims to improve students' skill in economic and financial analysis, explaining how to prepare a profit and loss account and a cash flow statement for project financing initiatives. At the end of the lesson, Students will be able to prepare a business plan for project financing and calculate the main profitability and backability ratios. So, the lesson program is about the economic and financial equilibrium, the profit and loss account and a cash flow statement, so the main financial statements, profitability ratios and bankability ratio uh, technically, um, we speak of bankability ratios um, to refer to some financial ratio that determine the sustainability of the financial sustainability of this operation. So, uh, the main inputs to calculate cash flow uh, are the following the timing of the investment, the initial investment cost, the VAT dynamic, the grant level, in particular in PPP initiatives, the analysis of sale revenues and purchasing costs during the life of the project, the fluctuation in working capital, the effect of the taxes and the other macroeconomic variable. We will analyze uh, uh, all these variables uh, in order to understand how to prepare um, a cash flow statement. Then, let's describe first of all the dynamic of cash flow of an investment project, in particular a project finance investment. Um, as you can see, during the construction phase uh, we have um, some cash outflow because of the construction of the infrastructure that reached the maximum level at the end of the construction, in this point. Uh, then, when we start with the operation phase, uh, as you can see, we are going to repay the investment through the cash flow produced by the project. And so, at a certain time, at K, we have the so-called payback. So we have repaid uh, the um, bank's loan uh, or other uh, investors uh, for the money they invested in the project. Uh, and then usually the project will continue for a certain period until the end of the contract, uh, the end of the concession contract. So summing up, um, we have during construction only cash disbursement for capex. The operating cash flow are negative in, during this period, so uh, cash requirements have to be covered by pool of banks or by sponsors who confer equity. After the point J in the graph, the project moves into the operating phases. This is an important moment in the project life because it starts generating revenues and the positive cash flow helps curtail the overall financing requirements. At the pro um, as the project moves forward in time toward year end in our project, the financing obtained by the sponsor is gradually paid back. In the final years of the project life, Revenue are used solely for covering operating costs and remunerate shareholders. So, um, if uh, we speak of the first of the vari variable we list in the previous slide, uh, 
um, the time of the investment, um, we have to uh, remember the, the length of the construction period impacts uh, on financial costs, especially uh, because of the interest and commitment fees which accrue uh, during construction. Legislation in many countries allows capitalization of these costs they are not included in the profit and loss account, but added to the plant costs and traded likewise during the precision and amortization. If the plant does not achieve the minimum performance levels, the contractor is forced to pay the project company penalties proportionate to the length of the delay in reaching these levels.